Darling, you're my favorite guest star. You really are. You're my favorite mother. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, right? I was like, I have nothing like my mom now. I'm like, okay, yes, I was just like my mom. <laughs> Today, you'll see 12 famous Hollywood actors whose parents were big stars of old Hollywood. Okay, this is your dad. Who, 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 who again? Clint, his name's Clint Eastwood. Oh, yeah. yeah. One Mia Farrow, Maureen O'Sullivan. Mia Farrow, like her mother, was lucky enough to catch old Hollywood and even make her way to the top. Mia is still famous today and still starring in movies. In 2022, she even had a part in a TV series called The Watcher. However, she is unlikely to surpass her 60s and 70s self when she starred in Rosemary's Baby and The Great Gatsby. Maureen O'Sullivan, Mia Farrow's mother, rose to fame during the golden age of Hollywood when she starred in several Tarzan films as well as Pride and Prejudice, The Thin Man, David Copperfield, and many others. Two Jamie Lee Curtis, Janet Lee and Tony Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis has spent much of her life associated with the Halloween franchise. It all started with the original 1978 movie, followed by several sequels and a reboot in the form of Halloween Kills, which retconned the events of all the movies after the first one. She did not wrap up her character's story until 2022 in Halloween Kills and starred in Haunted Mansion a year later. In addition, Jamie has had roles in True Lies, Everything Everywhere All at Once, Freaky Friday, and Knives Out. Jamie Lee Curtis's parents, Janet Lee and Tony Curtis, were both iconic Hollywood actors. Janet Lee is best known for her role as Marion Crane in Alfred Hitchcock's classic thriller Psycho, 1960, for which she won a Golden Globe Award. She also appeared in other notable films, such as Touch of Evil, 1958, and The Manchurian Candidate, 1962. Tony Curtis was a versatile actor who starred in numerous films in a variety of genres. Some of his most famous roles include Some Like It Hot, 1959, in which he co-starred with Marilyn Monroe and Jack Lemmon, Spartacus, 1960, and Sweet Smell of Success, 1957. Curtis was known for his charm, good looks, and ability to portray a wide range of characters, Three Carrie Fisher, Debbie Reynolds. Carrie Fisher starred in movies like When Harry Met Sally, The Blues Brothers, and others. However, they all pale in comparison to the original Star Wars trilogy in which Carrie played Leia Organa and after which she was unable to star in anything bigger. Carrie later appeared in the new Star Wars trilogy alongside her daughter, Billy Lord, who also managed to star in Scream Queens, an American horror story. But the most prominent member of the family was Debbie Reynolds, Carrie's mother and Billy's grandmother. Her career spanned from 1948 to her very last day. Debbie outlived her daughter by just one day. For Michael Douglas, Kirk Douglas, despite the fact that Michael Douglas starred in movies like Fatal Attraction, Falling Down, Wall Street, and The Game, most movie fans remember him for Basic Instinct, in which he starred with the then rising star Sharon Stone. It is noteworthy that Sharon was a little-known actress at the time, but she managed to outshine Michael, for whom this movie was the biggest breakthrough. Despite his age, Michael is still actively acting in movies and even appeared in the Ant-Man film in 2023. Michael's father, Kirk, lived to be 103 years old and had a 62-year career in the movies, making his mark not only with Spartacus, Paths of Glory, and Vikings, but also co-starring with Michael in It Runs in the Family. 5. Jane Fonda, Henry Fonda Jane Fonda on December 21, 2024, will celebrate already 87 years old. The actress is known not only for modern films, but also for the pictures of the 60s, 80s of the last century. However, it should be noted that the greatest fame to her still brought the tape of the new century, such as Book Club, 80 for Brady, If the Mother-in-Law is a Monster, and of course, the series Grace and Frankie. But Jane's father was a true icon of old Hollywood and is still considered by many to be one of the greatest actors in world cinema. Henry Fonda is known for the movies On Golden Pond, Twelve Angry Men, Once Upon a Time in the West, and others. Six Kiefer Sutherland, Donald Sutherland. The mystical and unbelievable Donald Sutherland has long since earned the role of one of the most spectacular villains there is something chaotic about him, yet methodical, demonic, yet ambiguously complex. In a word, character. The number of films in which he has starred is so great 
that you sometimes get the feeling that you have seen too many movies with him in them. Sutherland's son, Kiefer, has starred in fewer films, but is trying to catch up with his father as quickly as possible. It's clear that efficiency is in their blood. Lisa Minnelli, Judy Garland, two actresses who, despite their physical differences, excelled in the field of dramatic and entertaining films. Style icon, Judy Garland is the famous Dorothy Gale from the classic The Wizard of Oz, and Liza is the equally popular Sally Bowles from the film adaptation of Cabaret. We think the girls were worthy of each other and showed their strongest qualities when needed. Isabella Rossellini, Ingrid Bergman. If you don't know Ingrid Bergman, you don't know one of the most memorable periods in Hollywood history, when names like Humphrey Bogart, Clark Gable, Cary Grant, and others were heard. This period was so incredible that it can be considered the beginning of Hollywood as we know it today. Roaring, stylish, dramatic, sweeping, and consuming the minds of the world. Of course, it wasn't easy for her daughter, as the flair of her mother's popularity haunted Isabella all her life. Especially dramatic was the fact that the entire American public was against Bergman's relationship with Isabella's father. Nevertheless, Isabella Rossellini was able to develop into an independent and highly visible personality with her own unique style. Nine Gwyneth Paltrow, Blythe Danner. How can you not love cute girls like Gwyneth Paltrow and Blythe Danner? The daughter is not only an exact copy of her mother, but also such a wonderful actress. The roles of Gwyneth, of course, we are more impressed because here are the most interesting projects from roles in Wes Anderson's films ending with Marvel adaptations. Maybe it's because we were very young when Blythe Danner played Carly Breslin Walton in M.A.S.H. 10. Scott Eastwood, Clint Eastwood Clint Eastwood's personality is so big in today's Hollywood that his son Scott has an almost insurmountable task ahead of him if he wants to become more popular. Scott can no longer be called a debutant in the world of cinema, as he has managed to appear in more than 20 films, many of which are major blockbusters. In particular, he starred in the eighth series of Fast and Furious, Suicide Squad, the movies Snowden, and Overdrive. At the moment, these roles have not become something outstanding, but let's see what the coming years will bring. 11. Jeff Bridges, Lloyd Bridges. Although you probably know these two actors very well, you may not have realized that they are related. That's right, they are father and son who have had brilliant careers in the movies. The Oscar-winning Jeff and the simply wonderful actor Lloyd. The father, of course, is known for his roles in such hits as Hot Shots, Airplane, and Joe vs. the Volcano. However, he started out as a dramatic actor as well as a hero in westerns. It is difficult to judge which of them is more valuable to history, and we do not take sides because we love both in their own way. 12. Kate Hudson, Goldie Hawn Goldie Hawn became popular in the late 60s and remained at the height of her popularity until the mid-90s. Now she doesn't take the high bar in the level of work anymore. But it probably doesn't matter anymore. She's had her share of fame, and now she doesn't need to prove anything to anyone. On the other hand, her daughter Kate has declared herself as a promising actress and has also chosen the path of entertaining movies. It seems that this is the role of this family, which is not so bad in principle, because the movie should be made differently. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any new videos. See you in the next video.